What's up, car crew, and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute, but we're here now. Today's video is going to be my annual, or I guess semi-annual. Is that like bi biannual? Well, I don't know, but you know when it happens two times a year. So uh, this is my two times a year <laughs> Sephora sale video, okay? So for this video, since I didn't do like a sit down and like my wish list video, this video is just going to be me shopping at Sephora. You guys know the drill. I already placed an order line order. I have one to pick up. I love going in store. It's it's nothing like going in store, okay? And please hold off on the comments saying that 20% off is not a sale. It's tired. It's tired, okay? We know that this ain't a sale, but we still enjoy it because honestly, you guys, I haven't shopped at Sephora since. Let me pull up the receipts because it's it it seems like it's been a minute since I bought from Sephora, but let me make sure because I feel like the last time I really bought from Sephora was literally the last sale. Like, but let me make sure before I you know come up in here lying. Do y'all remember the last Sephora sale when um they literally had to block off their app because everybody was on it? But now I feel like everybody be like, it's, um, my app's not loading, but it just know it's been a minute. So I did place an online order because there were some things that were like not at this location or just wasn't in stock at this location. There's some other things that I, mostly skincare, that I just want to like look and feel before I purchase it. And I also have to get some stuff for my little sister because I be having her do little tasks around the house. Like, like stuff that I don't want to do. Like wash my makeup brushes or stuff like that. And used to, she used to want me to give her Robux, money, cash. But now... She's progressing and now she be asking for things at Sephora. So I said, oh, okay, the sale's coming up. I got you, sis, I got you, sis. So that's what we're finna do. We're about to go, but yeah, we're about to go to Sephora. I'm gonna take y'all with me and we're gonna shop. I will see you guys when we get there. <laughs> just got back i was able to get everything on my list so period oh my gosh you guys i'm gonna do a haul when i get home but i was able to they didn't have the forever mood like fragrances in store but they did have wait what am i trying to say they didn't have the forever mood fragrances like available for purchase in the store but they did have a discovery set out for people to like smell them and honestly guys the way they all smelled good now i saw which one was it i loved i am her which is like the pink bottle the yellow bottle i don't know what her name is that's the one that's sold out online it's nice but i think i like i am her the best and that one's still in stock on the sephora's website so i'm probably just gonna place an order so that i can get it before it gets out of stock because i just can't believe believe y'all was playing on my grill like that like people were saying the bottles look cheap people were saying the names are corny i'm like oh my gosh y'all people are so hard on jackie but i'm gonna um purchase that one i am her that was my personal fave that is the one that had i was a little bit confused though when she dropped like the notes and this one was listed as red velvet like I've never had a fragrance that had red velvet and even when i'm trying to think about it i'm like red velvet is chocolate cake so does it taste like like does it smell like chocolate like i'm just confused but that one was actually my favorite out of the four. What other one? Oh my gosh, I also was able to try the the one size, the one size um glitter spray. So bomb. I need to get it. Like, I hope it comes back in stock. But yeah, I liked I Am Her. Which other one? I don't see anything else. You Remind Me was the white one. I was watching some reviews and people were describing it as like, you just get out of the shower. Clean smell. And I could see that. This one, I feel like, to be honest, out of the four it's not my like it smells good but it's not like oh my gosh i need it so i'm probably not gonna get that one i really wish they had the the yellow one in stock though because that one was my personal fave so if i had to rank them i would do my first was i am her which is the pink bottle then it was the yellow bottle then i liked nda nda i felt like some people were like it smells terrible like it smells like men's deodorant i didn't get that vibe i didn't get that vibe but i thought it was like a really musky 
fragrance. But yeah, I Am Her is definitely the one for me. I'm gonna definitely pick that up. It looks like all the other ones are in stock except the yellow one. The yellow one had notes of vanilla, which I feel like people were okay with blind buying it. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna get I Am Her for now and we'll see. But yeah, you guys, once I get home, I'll do a whole haul for you guys and let you know what I picked up. The thing is, let me see. My, um, my own, not my online order. Yeah, my online order was supposed to come today but it hasn't come yet so maybe i'll just do a haul of the stuff that i got in store and then once that other stuff comes in i'll be able to do a part two but yeah i'll see you guys at home just want to check in because i'm not sure how much footage i got in the store it was so many people you guys but um yeah i'll see you guys what's up car crew and welcome back to the channel it's your girl courtney janine and i'm back with another video in today's video i'm super excited because it is the semi-annual sephora savings event i am a rouge Remember, so I was able to shop starting on Friday April 5th and it ends I believe I will tell you guys right now so you all know it starts on the 5th for Rouge members all the way until the 15th. VIB get 15% off from the 9th through the 15th and Insiders get 10% off from the 9th through the 15th. And you can get 30% off from starting from Friday the 5th until the 15th as well. I placed a pickup order and I also shop today, which you guys saw. And I was able to, uh, while I did my face, I was able to try a couple of the products out. So we're gonna start with those products first and then I'll get into the rest of the haul. And these are all makeup products. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the Huda Beauty Hashtag Faux Filter Color Corrector. I picked up it in the color peach. I haven't been doing color corrector. After seeing my face today, I definitely see why I liked doing color corrector. So I am in the shade peach. I used it underneath my eyes and I definitely feel like my under eye is a lot brighter just because I took this first step before going in with my concealer. And then I also utilized it around my mouth area because that area tends to be a little bit darker than the rest of my face so i always like to lighten it up and i really really like this um i definitely you guys know i have 10 no nine more days until this sale ends so i might i might i might circle back to try the actual faux filter like concealers not the color corrector but the concealers because i am in the market for like a new base routine i know y'all probably like grow but the face is sitting i know what it is but it's just like i had these products for a long time and um i just want to try out new things and my biggest thing is that i don't know my color like i feel like it's been a long time coming to get to where I am now where I feel like my face matches my body trying to find the right color is very hard for me but I might do it I might I might next product I tried is the refi brow sculpt this you guys I absolutely really loved it so um before I was using this <laughs> um typically I use the brow lift from elf which is a lot cheaper than this I probably won't like let go of it but I was literally just I can show you guys I'm literally almost completely out of the brow lift and I do see a difference between this the brow lift which is like empty and um, this brow sculpt I like how this definitely has a stronger hold and sometimes with the brow lift I feel like even though I pack a lot on it just doesn't have that matte look if that makes sense it has a very wet look so I often have to put like powder on top which isn't a bad thing but I really liked this and I will continue using it especially since I'm pretty much out of my brow lift but I'll probably to use that all the way up and then switch back over to this but i really like how my brows ended up today i also realized today that i low-key need a a brow product i have been using the nyx zero to brow gel but it's a little bit messy i mean my brows be looking good so maybe i should stick to it especially because it's a, on the affordable side but i've been wanting to try the coast sauce nano brow pencil so um i might pick that up during the sale as well next up is the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide hue drops this is in the shade Sun Glow. So this is a tinted serum. I use this underneath my makeup. You guys absolutely loved it. I don't know if you guys are on TikTok. I am. And I remember when this product leaked. A lot of people felt like she was like paid to leak the product, but Ever since I saw her video, I literally have been eyeing this and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it during the sale. And I like it. I probably wanna see it like just by itself. I mean, I did film myself using these products so you guys can see and I'll insert the clip as a video overlay. But um, in terms of impact on my makeup, I don't really see a huge difference because I went in with my same primers and stuff. Um, But I'm excited to like 
wear this on a day to day as like a part of my skincare routine maybe we'll see but i wanted it for the summer so all right y'all those are all the products that i tried so far so good i've been liking every single one that i tried so far so let's go ahead and get into the rest of the haul next thing and i was going to open this up but i just want to finish up my max mac fix plus because i'm really almost done but since i knew i was ending that soon i had to pick this this is a rebuy this is a rare beauty always an optimist four in one mist or spray i really like this you guys i always use the one size um spray as like my last setting spray but i really like to go in between a good amount of steps in my makeup with a glowy dewy mist and this one is one of my favorites i'm excited to try this again and like get it back into my routine because i really love this stuff like i think before I bought three of these like I really like this stuff so if you're looking for a recommendation this is the girl okay the one at the two okay the next is from Shishido I'm not sure exactly how you say it but this is the clear sunscreen stick y'all I tried this in store it was so nice like um it's I'm definitely I don't know like I don't know how sanitary it is because you're really just putting it on your face every single day but like I don't know it went on clear so I'm excited about it and the fact that it's 50 um SPF that's a really high amount so I'm excited to try that out and prefer like the summer days and the summertime that's coming up next is also a rebuy this is the topicals brightening and clearing eye mask I ran out of these and I was like bro I need them back okay they're just so freaking cute I know that a lot of people are like do they really work honestly do I see a difference no but I don't wear them consistently so I'm not like gonna drag them because they don't be working but I don't wear them like every single day or like as instructed um and also you're able to reuse these I didn't know that so I was like throwing mine out after one use but this go around I'm probably gonna try to like reuse them I don't know how that works but maybe that will help me be more consistent with knowing that I can rewear them because this is six pairs so if you're throwing them out after each wear that could get old very quickly but if I'm like reusing it that helps so I'm excited to try these again okay I got another thing from topicals this is the topical slick salve mint lip balm I did smell this in store I really like the consistency of it um and i also like the smell it's very minty it smells so good um the girls were talking about this saying it's the best you know i'll be having to tell the real real i've been loving topicals products though so i feel like i'm probably gonna love it but we'll see okay the next three products are also lip products first i'll talk about this lawless lipstick this is called wedding day i saw this um alia space recently did like a get ready with me and she had the prettiest when i say the prettiest the prettiest lip combo i've ever seen in life and i was like i need it so she used the lawless wedding day lipstick and she also used another like a lawless lip gloss but it wasn't in store so i ordered it online but this is what the color is looking like it looks so pretty it actually looks really similar to this wet and wild color that i've been wearing but this wet and wild color is out of like i guess it's discontinued because i don't see it on the website anymore so i'm gonna be on the market for a new lip combo soon and this was calling my name the next two are both two fenty beauty gloss bombs if you have been on tiktok then you already know fuchsia flex has been trending for a minute now and i've just been like watching i'm like every single video i'm like i know I know I know I need it but I'm waiting for the sale so I did go a little crazy this time around with my sale because I really have been waiting on this for a long time like I have been like telling myself just add it to the cart and you'll get it when it's on sale um so this is fuchsia flex y'all this color is freaking gorgeous a lot of people have been using it with mac night moth so I am going to pick up that lip liner and then I'm going to test the lip combo out but I really love the fenty gloss bombs right now my current fave has been um sweet mouth but i love them so i'm excited to try this lip combo i feel like fuchsia flex is different so i'm excited to try it and then the next one i got is called champ stamp fantasy i also got this from Aaliyah's face um she tried it on in one of her vlogs and it looked so freaking pretty but honestly just the look of it it looks so pretty it has a lot of like gold reflectives in it um, and I haven't seen that many people talked about this color, but let's move on to what I bought in store. First thing is the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser by Youth People. I've heard so much about this and I'm excited to try. I like how this is refillable too. I've been seeing a lot more brands. I think Fenty, Fenty Beauty, Fenty Skin does it. Um, that new 
like body scrub, body butter. I don't know what they're called. Josh Marone, something like that. I don't know, but they are refillable. Hope I like it. Um, but I just wanted some new skincare and just to re up on some of my skincare. The next is Pre Cleanse from Dermalogica. This is one of my faves. I got this also. I was put on to this by my esthetician and I, um, I ran out of it and I picked up the Fenty Skin Melt Off Cleanser. I like that too, but this I just like better. So after I finished the Melt Off, which I just recently finished, I was like, let me get my pre-cleanse again. So I love this stuff. I usually use this to take off my makeup and I don't really um, utilize any makeup wipes anymore because the pre-cleanse does a job. Okay, and the last thing that I got, I'm gonna show you guys what I got my little sister because I just felt like it was funny, like her list. But um, I also got the Glossier After Balm Moisture Barrier Recovery Cream. I heard about this from, uh, I don't know. Oh, I think her name is Alexis. Alexis on uh, YouTube. I follow her on YouTube. And she swears by this stuff. And like for skincare, of course, I really, I'm not a blind buy with skincare a lot of the time. So I wanted to go in store and like feel it. And it felt amazing. Like it was very, very thick. And one of the things that my esthetician told me the last time I went to her was that I don't have a strong enough moisturizer um and I felt like this this moisturizer is thick okay she can't be saying my my skin um dry when I have this but I'm so excited about utilizing this um right now I've been using the milk makeup vegan milk moisturizer and it's pretty lightweight so I'm hoping that this will be perfect give me enough you know moisture for my skin so that's everything that i got honestly you guys i do have an online order that's on the way i picked up a fragrance um and some more lip i definitely got the lawless lip combo that i talked about like the lip gloss i got a pat mcgrath lip gloss and i think there's something else let me tell y'all oh and i got some ami cole lid joy matte liquid eyeshadows and then i got a k18 hair set because i've been wanting to try that hair care line um because my hair it it needs some mm, okay but before we go i do want to show you guys what my little sister wanted from the Sale. so she got the first aid beauty pure skin face cleanser it's for sensitive skin um i feel like this was a good she's trying i feel like she's trying to um figure out her skincare routine so i think that this is perfect especially since it says it's for sensitive skin and my sister is 12 um she's also been on the oh yeah this is it okay y'all got scared why is soldier de janeiro like me messing with their packaging girl please okay anyways so i got her the mini Rio Radiance. This is number 87. Um, she's been on Sol Janeiro bad, okay? She got the 62 for Christmas and then she did some work for me, so she got the purple one and then now she's adding this one to her list, so cute. And then the last thing, this is one that I actually wanted as well, um, which is, but I want to see how she likes it because honestly, I have a lot of lip products. I don't need more. This is the Tower 28 lip treatment and it's in the shade Watermelon Kiwi. Um, she also wanted Ube Vanilla but they were out of that so um she said either ube vanilla or watermelon kiwi so we got that one but yeah you guys that is everything that i got from this year's sephora sale i did want to let you guys know that while i was in store i was able to smell and test out the forever mood fragrances and you guys they are all so they smell so good now my personal favorite was i am her which is still in stock so i am going to purchase that one um i also really loved hard to get which is the yellow bottle but the other two weren't bad at all i probably would purchase those too at this point i'll be wearing fragrances but like i don't want to over consume so i don't think i need all four but they all four smell like really good like i was actually surprised and i know a lot of people have been on the fence about the collection and her first drops but i feel like she did a great job um i've heard a lot of people say that they don't last though that's one thing to note but i definitely am thinking about getting the i am her before the sale ends because i want to support jackie and they smell good like let's not let's be real they smell good but yeah you guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe join the corko family down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys